I just want to be a summer girl. When I filmed this, it was overcast for an entire month straight and I'm sick of it. Look at me bundled up. But in a couple days, I'm going to Florida for a nail expo, which means one, it's gonna be warm. Two, I'm gonna be around all my nail friends who will also have cute done up nails. And three, I probably should do something a little more than just a solid red like I wanna do, just to spice it up for all the customers of our nail booth. Let's see if I can still make a little sneaky basic manicure while also keeping it a little interesting for the expo using all of my gel brand. Speaking of expo, these nails that I'm redoing are five weeks old. They're actually a mixture of these nails and these nails that I got done at the last nail expo I worked in Chicago. I wore my sweater to reminisce and both of those videos are on my channel right now if you wanna watch them after this one. We have a couple issues with this manicure and those couple of issues are literally just my two pointer fingers. They're both lifted, so let's get this gel off and keep my long natural nails intact. I'm cleaning off any skincare and oils from my nails before anything and then taking just a cheap kind of damaged cuticle nipper that I have just to get rid of the little gems on my nail before going in with the e-file. It's so sad looking at this footage because I don't want to take these nails off. I'm like, stop, stop the tape. Because I love the way like the gold, I just love gold. So I love the way it looked with my jewelry. And I, my friend Raina who did them has always the same vibe on her nails. She has gold with like a bunch of gold rings and I'm always so obsessed with the details of it and how good it looks. So I'm so happy that she let me live out my Raina gold, gold on gold dream. Once I got the little gems off, I pushed the cuticles back and I was ready to file off the gel. And while I was filing off these nails, I got a few press on orders that I needed to pack because speaking of summer girl, I have two new press-ons I came out with this summer in my press-on line. So I hope you don't mind packing those orders with me at the end of this video when my nails are done. And yes, if you haven't guessed yet, my name is Katie, also known as Nail Thoughts, and I also have my own gel line that we will be using in this video today. I finished filing off my one hand and look at my thumbnail. If you didn't watch my last video of me doing these nails, let me tell you this thumb is an extension that I sculpted. So half of it is a natural color gel and the other half is obviously my nail. You can tell where it stops and where it ends by the area that I forgot to file and even out underneath. But I mean, it's pretty cool, right? It still looks so great. And you bet your bottom dollar we're keeping it at this length. And then, once I filed off my opposite hand, um, kind of awkwardly, they ended up looking pretty good. I got rid of both my pointer fingers lifting and the rest looked good. So now it's time to get some cuticle cleanup going and gently buffing out any of those imperfections left over on my nails. So excuse me while I go do that really quick. cooking look how good my natural nails look like really we actually have to keep them this length I'm gonna need to give them a nice little overlay for strength for sure because I haven't had them this long in a bit but first we got to shape them and I think I'm feeling square like a little tapered square for these super long nails um, it's gonna take a little bit of patience to get that perfect kind of sharp ish square that I want so let's dive into shaping
so hear me out. Hear me out. I had an idea pop in my head for these nails. I was like, okay, I'll be a little basic and just do a French tip, but in my favorite red, literally my favorite red. Perfect, bright, bright, orangey red, very summery, very summer girl. But instead of like a nudie kind of pink in the background, maybe, maybe a sheer coat of one of my newer colors, Comfort Show, which is like a milky lavender. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. I don't know if it's gonna look right, but I don't know, I'm willing to risk it. It was in my head and I needed to try it and you're not gonna stop me, okay? I'm also pulling out my detailer brush for the French tip, but we don't need that quite yet. I'm just getting my supplies ready. But before any of these shenanigans start, we need my strong overlay, remember? So I'm gonna use my clear builder base coat. It's a builder and a base coat all in one. So it saves me a base coat step. And let's build some strength. It's a semi-hard gel, so this is really gonna give me that strength that I need for these babies. And done and done. I'm so happy with these. I feel like they look so good, especially on the long nails, the long square. I'm happy with these. Also, here's the side view in case you wanna see how much I built up, but man, how tempting is it, do you think, for me to just leave it like this? <laughs> it's really tempting. Look how good that looks. Okay, okay, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get it out of my head, it was in my head. We're just gonna start with comfort show and we're just gonna see if we like it, okay? We'll just do like, we'll start with the thumb just so we can kind of see, cause I haven't done this color on myself before. I've only done like swatches on clear nails, right? So, that looks cute. Oh, this is nice. Oh my God, this is really cute. Oh my God, this is hard. It's like, do I go more heavy handed with it? Do I do a second comb later? This is cute. Okay, <laughs> okay. Things are looking good. They are looking good, that's it. I'm doing the rest of the fingers, that's it. It's so easy, what an easy decision. I'm so happy. You know how sometimes you have something in your head and you're like, this is gonna be so cute and then you do it and you're like devastated? I don't know, today's not that day, I don't think because this is cute. How much do you wanna bet that I wanna keep it like this? How much do you wanna bet that I wanna just skip the French and just leave it like this? This is... <laughs> Should I just leave it like this? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Stop yelling at me. Everyone calm down. We're gonna do the red French. Good news is, I mean, fingers crossed, but good news is, is if I hate it, I can literally just wipe it off and I can end with this gorgeous manicure. So that's great news. It's like a win-win. Usually I feel like if you like hate a design or hate a manicure, you have to redo the whole thing, but no, not today. Not today. Just do a little wipey wipe and, oh, this looks, Oh my god, I did it. I can't believe that it like worked. This looks so good. No way. It's over. It's over for me. It's over for you. It's over for the rest of the summer girls out there because I am a summer girl. Oh my god. Okay, I'm putting it in. That's it. We did it.
right, sorry, real quick. Before I show you my Summer Girl nails, I gotta pack these other Summer Girl press-on orders up real quick. I just wanna get today's orders out before the post office closes today, so let's pack them up. And it looks like all my designs got a little love today, but Neutral 01 seems to be the top seller of the day, so that's fun. Also, just wanted to show you these little nail sample kits I made for every order I get now, just so people can like see my other designs in person before ordering. Isn't that cute? I love these little things that I made. Well, I just gotta say, these red French nails are my whole new personality trait now. I am taking pictures of them left and right, and not even like aesthetic pictures and cute pictures. It's just me being like, oh, I love the way they look with this pasta. Oh, I love the way they look with this can, with just anything and everything. Like this is my whole photo album right now. And I also feel really proud of these nails because I inspired both my client and my nail artist friend Cassie to also get these nails on. Like, what am I, an influencer? Here's the final product. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for next week's Florida Nail Expo vlog. Thank you so much for watching.